Welcome on our channel Simple Medicine. Please subscribe and like the video. In today's video we'll be talking about the most complicated defense system that is the human immune system. The immune system is spread throughout the body and made up of special organs, cells and chemicals that fight infection. The immune system is essential for our survival, without it our bodies would be open to attack from bacteria, viruses and more. If the immune system encounters a pathogen, a pathogen is any small organism such as virus or bacteria which can cause disease. It mounts a so-called immune response. We are going to explain this now by introducing the immune system main part. One, white blood cells. White blood cells or leukocytes are the key player in your immune system. They are made in your bone marrow and are part of the lymphatic system. White blood cells move through blood and tissue throughout your body looking for foreign invaders or microbes. When they find them, they launch an immune attack. Two, the spleen. The spleen is a blood filtering organ that removes microbes and destroys old or damaged red blood cells. It also makes antibodies and lymphocytes. 3. Bone marrow. Bone marrow is a spongy tissue found inside your bones. It produces the red blood cells. Our bodies need to carry oxygen. The white blood cells we use to fight infection and the platelets we need to help our blood clot. 4. Thermos. Thermos filters and monitors your blood content. It produces the white blood cells. Or T. Lymphocytes. 5. Lymphatic system. Lymphatic system is a network of tubes throughout the body. The main roles of the lymphatic system are A. Manage the fluid levels in the body. B. Reacts to bacteria. C. Deal with cancer cells. D. Absorb some of the fat in our diet from the intestine. The lymphatic system is made up of lymph nodes or lymph glands which trap microbes, lymph vessels that carry a lymph, white blood cells called lymphocytes. 6. Antibodies Antibodies help the body to fight microbes or the toxins they produce. The immune system organs fight microbes and viruses. The result of this process is called immune response. That sometimes causes a rise in your body temperature. This fever can happen with some infections and it kills some microbes. Everyone's immune system is different, but as a general rule, it becomes stronger during adulthood as by this time we have been exposed to more pathogens and developed more immunity. That is why adults tend to get sick less often than children. 